Josie, welcome. Thank you. Great to have you on. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining me. I might need one of these. I know, it's sick, isn't it? I, they fit it's those nice. two big guys in it last I week. I was <laughs> surprised with that. Guys, for this week's episode of Let's Drive Powered by Ford, we've got inside linebacker Josie Joel here in the passenger seat. Josie, shall we go for a drive? Thanks for joining me today. Let's do it. All right. Well, Josie, how's it going? How are things? Good. Yeah, got okay. a good day of practice today. It was a lot warmer than expected, so uh, got a little sweat on. I know this year isn't, you know, obviously what everyone had hoped for, but I know it's year four for you. You're five. You're five. You're five. How, is, how are you feeling about your game this year, this season for y'all? Yeah, it's, I think it's come uh, a pretty good ways, you know, from where I started at my first year here. Yeah. Um, so just trying to find small things to improve at every single year and every single day. Um, and it's been going pretty well, uh, personally, game to game. Uh, but, you know, there's, sure. still, there's still some things to fix and you never can be perfect. So uh, looking to, uh, you know, strive towards that perfection every week. Yeah. Have you had any goals really for yourself this season? Uh, about weekend and week out? Yeah, uh, there's been a couple just small ones that I think about like sacks and then picks and stuff like that. Right. Uh, I wanted to end the year with at least uh, two to three um, and then sacks I wanted to have you know four or five or something like that. That was just my individual goals and had a lot of other team goals um, but you know you need to reevaluate re those every single time. Uh, every game uh, really goes by and every week um, to make them realistic and stuff like that. So it's been an interesting year for that. You said five sacks, you're already on your way. Got two and a half, you're halfway there. Yep. Got yeah. Six games left. Yeah. Hopefully, we can get a couple more of those. Uh, some more TFLs and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. yeah, hopefully, you know, just get a couple more, or at least a couple more wins. Um, you know, finish your strong. Yeah. Kind of what's the mindset this week specifically for the defense? Stop. The, stop the run is the biggest one, um, and that's that's big for them because uh, they have to run the ball. Lamar can run the ball. Anybody can run the ball for them. So. Big at stopping that, uh, forcing them to pass, um, and see where that takes us. So you know, hopefully we can be good fundamental play, good fundamental football, and uh, stop the run first and see where it goes from there. Yeah, you mentioned Lamar Jackson. We all know just how dynamic he is as a quarterback. How tough is it going to be to try and slow him down this weekend? And kind of what's what's the mindset heading into that? Yeah, it's it's a tough one. You know, it's a lot of gap stuff. Uh, they like to try to screw with your head um, and put you in the wrong gap. Um, and make errors that way. So, you know, Alex and I, and especially some safeties fitting in the back end, we got to be very fundamental with that and very sound on where we're fitting um, and how fast we're fitting um, and using our hands a lot during the game. So it'll be an interesting one. I think it's going to be fun. Um, we should should be able to do some good things. Yeah. Have you been to Baltimore over there? Uh, once, yeah. I think I played there either my rookie year or my second year uh, oh, right. when Joe Flacco was over there. So. Oh, yeah. I've never been. This is going to be my first time there, checking off another stadium off my list. It's not a bad one. I enjoy, I enjoy it. Seem like they got a good fan base out there. Yeah, yeah, they enjoy their football, that's for sure. You mentioned Alex Singleton. I feel like you guys are two peas in a pod. You guys are always on the same page. How's yeah. it been playing alongside him this year? No, oh, it's been fun, yeah. We, uh, talk, there's a lot of pre-snap communication between us, um, whether it be our fits, whether it be our pass, uh, stuff like that. So it's been fun to play with him, and uh, you know we've just been able to play really fast beside each other um, and really decisive football, which is, at the end of the day, what you want to be. So. It's been fun, um, and hopefully, you know, we can play together for a while. But even off the field, you guys seem like yeah, your we, besties. Yeah, well, uh, we have a good group, a good inside linebacker group that we sure. like to hang out with. Um, yeah. You know, Jonas, Jonas and Justin, and mm -hmm. uh, we like to stay together, uh, whether it be, you know, Thanksgiving at my house or going out to eat somewhere downtown. So uh, we like to stay tight, and uh, we all, you know, somewhat like the same things. Um, and I think those boys will be coming out to Iowa. Uh, we just built a house out there, so I think they're coming out this off season. I'll show them a little bit of Iowa stuff. We'll see if they like it or not. I don't yeah. know. And you, you've got like a big farm in Iowa. Chicken farm? Uh, turkey farm. Turkey farm. Am I, so that I grew up on. Yeah, no, everybody says the same thing, <laughs> so it's totally fine. Yeah, so we grew up on some land and turkey and cattle farm um, nice. and got a bunch of animal stuff and stuff like that. So it'll be fun to see what they uh, think about it. Absolutely. You go out there every off season, right? Yep, I go back every off season. I don't really work too much. Uh, if you want to work, you're probably going to lose a lot of weight. So Fair. I try to stay away from that. I don't want to get too skinny during the off season. Uh, Cause they'll work you like a bunch of dogs. So, yeah. and you've got you've got a smoothie. Place yep, a smoothie there. shop. Smoothie shop. Okay. Yep, Route 43. Uh, we opened that. What was it? Two Februarys ago. So, that's been fun. Um, a fun little side note to go during the off season and go help uh, run that and yeah. uh, see how business actually works and see all the behind the scenes things. Yeah, you got to get all the guys out there. Yeah, they'll try. We'll try the acai yeah. bowls out and stuff like that. And oh, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see what they think about those too. Well, Josie, this weekend, as you know, is the My Cause, My Cleats game. So 
everyone across the league is going to be wearing their cleats that they've designed specifically for different causes and organizations that mean a lot to them. I know since you've been in the league, you've always represented Logan's Hope. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about that and you know who Logan is? Yeah, so Logan Manerfield's uh, from the same area of Iowa that I'm from and found him at the end of college. Uh, he did a kids captain uh, thing at uh, one of our games, so I got to see him there too and just have kind of have built a relationship throughout the years and gone to his run that he's had every year. Uh, I haven't gone every single year since football and OTAs will usually run into it. Um, but yeah, it's for uh, muscular dystrophy, uh, Duchenne muscular dystrophy. So yeah, a good little uh, cause to go for and uh, definitely I'm sure not a fun thing to go through as a kid and as a person and uh, just like supporting him and, and what he's going through. And you, you're still in contact with him? You talk to him. Yeah, 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 whether it's Snapchat or Instagram or him, yeah, he's got my number too, but he usually does Snapchat and uh, we usually talk a little bit back and forth, see how he's doing, see how I'm doing here. Yeah. Uh, and it's fun, yeah, fun to stay in contact with somebody around home. Yeah. Looking back to, you know, when you met him back in college, did you think it would turn into, you know, this friendship that you have now, someone you represent every single year and try to spread awareness for? Uh, yeah, it was hard to know where it was going to go. Um, you know, I'd like to keep those friendships. I got a really good friendship and also with another University of Iowa um, that went to the Children's Hospital there. When I was at the university, I met, uh, went to a bunch of his visits and stuff like that, and uh, his parents were there all the time. So I got to know him well, um, and that really went farther than I thought too, and which is great. And I still talk to his dad to this day, um, and then still talk to Logan too. So it's awesome to keep those relationships going. For sure. And how's Logan doing now? Uh, good, as good as he can be doing. Um, right. You know, everything's progressing with age, and unfortunately, that it means it's worse for him. So uh, I'm, I'm sure he's doing good, and hopefully, you know, the mental state is good. Well, appreciate you sharing a little bit about that story. Looking forward to seeing those cleats this weekend as well. Yeah, they'll, they'll look good for sure. Yeah. These are the best looking ones I've seen so far for uh, oh, for nice. his so yeah. They're pretty sweet. Well, Josie, appreciate you taking the time to chat with me today and coming along for the ride. Awesome. Sounds good to me.